let's put this all together. We're going to create a working thesis statement. And this is called a working thesis statement because it's bound to change from now until when you submit your final draft of your research paper. Your research is going to take you on all sorts of little avenues and bumps in the road and you're going to redirect all the time. It's not a straight path and so don't expect this to stay the same. It's a journey. It, it's just one of those quirks about the project. But the reason why we need a working thesis statement is so that when you go to present your research proposal so it can be approved, you have a starting point for your instructor to know what direction you might be starting with. Okay, so taking from Professor Isis Fernandez, we're going to create that by using a template. We're going to start the sentence off with the topic. What are you writing about? And all you have to say is, I'm studying and fill in the blank. What are you studying? And then you're going to include your question. What don't you know about the topic that you want to explore? So you continue the sentence by saying, because I want to find out what, why, how, whatever it is, something. You want to find out something. And we're going to end the sentence with the so what, the significance. Why are your readers going to care about and want to know about whatever it is you're exploring. So you end it by saying, in order to help my reader understand whatever it is. When you put it all together, this is what your working thesis statement should probably look like. I'm studying something because I want to find out something in order to help my reader understand something, okay? On your worksheet, you have this statement, fill in the blanks, and you're just one step closer to getting started.